and that's what we're going to do. This is Jason Key with me now. There's a big rally going on this weekend in Dallas. Yes, it's at the Revershawn Park, and it's, uh, it's a rally. It's going to have 14 trucks, I believe, and uh, will be taking place from uh, from noon to 8. It's going to have live music. Uh, several good bands will be there. It's a nice. $10 admission. Uh, children get in free. There's going to be activities for the children as well. Everybody should uh, be sure to come down. Can we go inside and Absolutely. just see what goes on in a food truck? Sure. Because I always picture it being like really crazy inside. Because you got to make the food fast. And it can be, yeah. Okay. When events, it can be real can, crazy. Yeah. Let's I'll go just go in. Hi guys. Hello. So yeah, this oh is my the gosh, inside it's, of our truck. It's like a hundred degrees in here. It feels great. That, yeah, <laughs> that is that is one of the uh, challenging parts of a food truck is the temperature in it. These guys, uh, it's a good weight loss program. But no, this is where uh, this is where the magic happens for us and uh, where we make a lot of our food. And uh, we have a few items actually plated up. If you, uh, oh, I'm so glad. Now, how, tell me how you guys came up with the idea for a Cajun tailgate. Sure. Uh, me and my wife both. While uh, you serve me food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me and my wife both went to LSU. And so we yeah. met there. And then once moving to Dallas, we uh, we missed a lot of the items that we had back back at LSU and in sure. college. So wow, and given the opportunity, this. we uh, we jumped on it to uh, to start to start a Cajun food truck and to try to bring some of the flair that we had from tailgating uh, before football games and things like that to uh, to Dallas. So what do we have here? Here we have our crawfish pistolet, uh -huh. which has uh, actually been uh, rated as one of the top 100 things to eat to consume in Dallas. Uh, these are beignets. This is a chicken and sausage jambalaya, and then this is crawfish etouffee. Oh my goodness. Well, okay, I'm going to taste this one first. Yeah. Yep, everything we do from, from scratch. scratch. Yeah. And isn't, aren't they like family recipes or something they right are. here? They are. There are a lot, a lot of, of things that, that we've developed and that I've taken from, uh, from yeah, some of my family members. Oh wow, that's really good. What are yep. the uh, what are the prices like? On sure. No, uh, our pistolet runs about four dollars, and the same for the beignets. Uh huh. Uh, the jambalaya and the etouffee. It's six dollars for the jambalaya. Etouffee is seven dollars. That's really good pricing, you guys. Yeah. Very no, good. For, and fantastic for what you're food. getting in terms of something homemade, uh, it gives. That's what food trucks do. They give you an idea and the ability to sample a lot of different things and to try different food flavors. Yeah, and I, I like that a lot of the food trucks now, like yours, are doing like a, more gourmet foods. Yes, you know, something interesting that's not just like a greasy burger yeah, or something. Absolutely. Right? Well, it's awesome, been a great guys. deal for us. We really appreciate uh, all the support we've had in the community, and uh, it actually helped us to open a little restaurant recently up in Plano. So it's, really, uh, yeah, it's been awesome. Oh, good for you. Well, congratulations. Thanks Thank for coming you. in today. Oh, no, I appreciate and the opportunity. Thank you, especially for bringing in the food. Absolutely. I like that one. <laughs> All right, more broadcast when we come back. Yeah.